Hello fellow YouTubers, Tiger Dragon Girl, and I just wanted to show you something, um, about ribbing. It, okay, this piece is knit flat, it's knit to purl to, and when you switch your needle and you are going back, it's still knit to purl to, and the reason for that is what happens on one side happens the opposite on the other side and that is why when you turn you still do knit to purl to because if you knit your knits and you purl your purls you are going to get what is called seed stitch and that's not going to be stretchy here on this one on this cuff here it is also a knit to purl to pattern but because it, you are not going back and forth but instead going around and around it's knit to purl to and it doesn't change you knit your knits and you purl your purls because in, when you're knitting in the round like I said you don't switch back and forth like you do with flat knitting and so it comes out the same way. It's kind of neat, I think, because of the fact that the ribbing, if you look at it, is reversible. So you can, uh, you know, if you want to make like a wrist warmer or a headband, you can do it using your ribbing pattern. But remember, for the flat knitting, when you turn your work, you are knitting the purls and purling the knits. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but once you get to doing it, it's just basic. And then, like I said, when you start knitting in the round, you don't have to worry about the knit to purl to because knitting the knits and purling the purls will give you the rib unlike if you were to do it flat you'd get the seed stitch so that's all for now so until next time stay safe and stay happy